Let us have the third. Third problem. Um, we have given P of Z such that it's greater than negative 0.75 and greater less than 1.56. So, we have here negative Z table for the negative Z score. So, we have negative 0.7 plus 0 0.05. So, the value or this, the area for negative 0 0.075 to the left at the right, at the left, it's 0 0.2266. So, for the positive Z table, we can take a look at the area or the probability for 1.56. So, we have 1.5 here is 1.5 plus 0 0.06. So, this so this is the intersection or the 0 0.9406. So, we already have the probability for the 2Z table. So, now uh, for the 2z scores rather. So now we are going to get the probability such that your z is greater than negative 0 0.75 0 .70, and 1.56. So let's find the solution again. We have here the normal curve, distribution curve, we have 0 for the mean and 1. 2, 3. So we have here the 1.6, a negative 0.75 rather. So the area that we've got is 0.2266. So the area from the left of point negative 0.75. Now for z equals to 1.56, the area that we have is 0 0.9406. But we are going to get uh, determine the uh, probability in between. So, this region in between the 2z score, negative 0.75 and positive 1.56. So, how can we do that? So, we need to subtract the probability of z less than 1.56. So, this one, this, this value and probability of z less than negative 0.75. So, this value and we have 0 0.9406 minus 0.2266. The value is equals to, or the probability is equals to 0 0.7140 or 71.40%. So, when we are going to label it, it will be like this. Now, let's move to the fourth or the last in this example. So, find the probability of P of Z greater than to negative 0 0.88. So, our Z value here, Z score is negative 0 0.88 or the in negative value in the left side. So, we need, uh, it's here in the normal curve. So, negative 0 0.88 and the area that we need uh, the shaded region that we need to get the probability is this region because it's greater than so it's um, it is at the right so we are going to take a look at the negative z table so negative 0 0.8 so we have here the negative 0 0.8 then 0 0.08 so, the intersection is 0 0.1894. So, the area of negative 0 0.88 to the left is 0 0.1894. So, what we are going to do if so it looks like that it, it looks like this value is not the value for this area or for this region. It's not the probability yet. So since it's posit uh it's to the right or it's greater than we need to subtract 1 to that va to this value. So we have probability of greater than uh, probability of z greater than negative 0 0.88 is equals to 1 minus the probability of z less than. So to the left minus 0.88. Then the value is 1 minus 
the probability of z to the left, which is uh, the z value, z score negative 0.88, it's equals to 0.1894. And we may subtract it to 1, the answer will be 0 0.8106. Or in percentile, it's 81.06. So this is the area or the probability or the percentile of this given P of Z greater than negative 0.88. Now, let's have problems. Uh, example problems. Each month, a Filipino household generates an average of 28 pounds of newspaper for garbage or recycling. Assume that the distribution is normal with a standard deviation of 2 pounds. If a household is selected at a random, find the probability of its generating. First, we have between 27 and 31 pounds per month and next we have more than 30.2 pounds per month so we have here problem given um average or the mean 28 pounds and standard deviation 2 pounds so we have also here exam um given x or the ra uh, normal random variable scores values so let's solve so first for letter a between 27 and 31 pounds so in notation we can write it like this so probability of your x such that it's greater than to 27 in pounds and less than 31 this is per month so we have given again values new which is 28 pounds and the standard deviation two pounds so for this problem we are going to use this notation and this notation means uh, is equivalent to this notation for z for in getting the z score so we all know that the um, the Z score can be computed by subtracting your mean to your X value and dividing it to the standard deviation. So we have here 27, the X value, minus 28, which is the mean, all over 2. Then less than Z, so the Z score. And then less than also to 31, which is the second x minus 28, still the mean all over 2. So this notation will lead to um, when we simplify this 28 minus uh, 27 minus 28, that is 1, negative 1 over 2, that is negative 0.05. And for 31 minus 28, that is 3. Divided by 2, that is 1.5. So, our Z scores equivalent for X equals to 27 is equals to negative 0.5. For X equals to 31, the Z score is equals to 1.50. So, how can we get the probability of this um, equation? So, again, we have here the P of Z such that it's less than negative 0.5 and uh, greater than negative 0.5 and less than 1.5. So, it also equal, it is also equals to P. So, this is in between, right? So, we need to we subtract the probability of your Z less than 1.5 or the greater value which is at the right minus the probability of Z to the left or less than of negative 0.5 so since we are looking the uh, middle or in between so here is the negative z table for negative 0.5 we can get the probability for the area so negative 0.5 so we don't have second value for the second uh, the, the value for the second decimal so it's zero the value or the intersection is 0 
Now, for the positives, the table, we have negative, uh, positive 1.5. So, 1, 0.5, and then again, it's 0. So, the intersection is 0 0.9332. So, here are the values for P of uh, Z, negative 0.5, and P of Z, less than 1.5. So, we have to subtract 0.9332 minus 0.3085. We have equivalent of 0.6247 or 62% uh, 62.47% in present time. Now, this is the representation of our of the generating newspaper between 27 and 31 pounds per month. So, we have here negative 0.5 for x equals to 27 and positive 1.5 for x equals to 31 pounds. So, the area or the probability in between these two values, 27 and 31 pounds per month, is equals to 0.6247 or simply 62.47%. And here is the solution for letter B. So, more than, we are looking for more than 30.2 pounds. So, the clue word here is more than. So, the notation that we're going to use is greater than. So, P is, uh, so probability of P of X greater than 30.2 pounds. So, the given again, we have 28 pounds for the mean or the average and 2 pounds for the standard deviation. And here is the formula or equation we have for the P of x greater than 30.2. So, it, also, it is also equal to 1 minus the probability of x to the left of 30.2 or less than 30.2. So, again, it's x values. So, we need to get the z score so you get the z score of 32 30.2 30.2 x or x minus mu or the mean 28 all over 2 so the values we have z less than 2 1.10 or the probability of 1.10 now we need to subtract it from 1 and how can we know the probability of 1.1, the z-score 1.1? So, we have here, this is positive z-table. So, the row 1.1 here and the column 0. So, we don't have second decimal. So, the value intersection is 0 0.8643. Now, we are going to subtract it to 1. So, we have here 1 minus 0 0.8643 and that is equals to 0 0.1357 or 13.57%. So that is the probability for more than 30.2 pounds per month. So this is the illustration. So it's greater than 30.2, which is has an equivalent Z score of 1.1. So this is the probability that we look for, which is 0.1357 or 13.57. So that's it for our lesson 8, which is about computing the probabilities and percentiles of the standard normal distribution.